Hi friends, my name is Yukti, the founder of Silhouette by Yukti, a performance coaching platform extended to corporate executives, professionals and individuals who aspire to excel in their personal and professional life. Today I want to talk to you about energy and more specifically positive energy. So I believe that we're all forms of energy, all living things are forms of energy. And when we come in contact or in proximity with each other, we, our energies kind of collide. So we either like people we meet or we absolutely don't like a few we meet. You know, I mean, doesn't it happen to you that you sometimes meet someone for the first time, but you just don't like that person. There's something about that person that doesn't go well with you. And we sometimes call it a vibe. And we feel that we got a negative vibe from this person. And so let's just stay away from them. But basically it is energy that collides and sometimes doesn't really gel as well with each other. However, there are times when our closest people, people we live with, our family members, uh, also exude some form of negative energy. And there is friction and there is lack of understanding and you know a lot of negativity that you feel you live with in your own house. And that can get really, really difficult. I'm sure you agree. But there are ways in which we can keep this negativity away and still live a peaceful life. So the idea is to practice a few things that I will share with you in a while and bring that into your life as a normal routine and continue doing that for some time so as to protect your own space and keep that positive environment around you. Because unfortunately, we can't do much about the way people are. We can't change their nature, we can't change their feeling to, feelings towards us sometimes. But we can definitely protect the environment around us by doing a few simple things such as the ones I will share today. So before I go ahead with the seven hacks or seven practices, if I may say, that are gonna change your life and keep negativity absolutely at bay, I have to take a promise from you. And the promise is that you are going to follow these practices for at least 30 days consecutively. Like anything that you know will help you progress in life, you need discipline and consistency. So you've got to make sure that whatever we talk about today and whatever practices you agree to bring into your life, you will have to consistently follow them, practice them for 30 days from now. With that promise from you, let's get started. All right, practice number one, declutter your space. Yes, I know you've heard of decluttering your wardrobe and it's always been a new year resolution for a few and few others who are following it a little more seriously might just believe that the first of next month or the first weekend of next month they will find time to clear their wardrobe. Let me make it a little simpler this time. So I'm not talking specifically about the wardrobe. I'm talking about decluttering your house, which means picking up small pockets and small areas, these you know drawers where we keep stuffing in papers and bills which you don't need. Sometimes if you're, if you're a mother, you would also stack things like shoe boxes and sometimes summer college sheets because you think that this will, be come, this will come really handy if you have to do any art and craft activity with your child. But guess what? When you really need to do all this, you don't find where the stuff is. So it is of absolutely no use to stack this in the house and create these energy blocks. So the first thing that you have to do is to declutter your space. Practice number two. Let me give you a caution here that I am not promoting being religious or even being spiritual as a matter of fact. But my second point is about a practice that might just look religious to you, which is to burn dhup or agarbati in the morning. Now, there are fumes of positive energy which are emitted when you do this as a practice in the house. So it doesn't necessarily have to say that you believe in God or idol worship or that you're spiritual or that you're Hindu for that matter. You could be of any religion, but the fact that you can burn you know, dhubati or agarbati in the morning just creates a lot of peace and a lot of positivity in, in your surroundings in the house. So try doing this. Practice number three, diffusers. So if you're somebody who's allergic to smoke and you think that dhup is too much of smoke and it can cause, you know, cough or uneasiness, I get that. So there's another way of doing that, which is to invest in diffusers. So, you know, you have these uh, clay pots in which you can put reeds or you can have flour diffusers with essential oil or mix it with water. There are various, various forms of this, various companies and fragrances 
of your choice that you can pick from the market and put them in every room, even washrooms if you can, and bring that, you know, that nice aroma in the house, which is a great thing to do to keep negativity away from the house. Practice number four. Please get rid of cactus if you're growing cactus in your house and also get rid of artificial flowers. As pretty as they look and as simple as it is to maintain them as against natural flowers, either choose to have no flowers at all or invest in you know, natural flowers in terms of both your time and money. But that's totally worth it. So if you want to keep more positivity around us, please get rid of artificial flowers and definitely cactus. Practice number five. Now this is for situations where there is extreme negativity, where there are relationships very, very close yet not close to your heart, if you know what I mean, but you live with them under the same roof and you still need to breathe in peace every single day of your life because you must. Here is what you can do. Add some sea salt to the water which is used for mopping the house and also take it to another level by putting a little bit of sea salt in the corners of your house especially in the areas where you feel maximum negativity. Try it out and see the magic. Practice number six. Again, for situations which are a little elevated, a little more serious, you can uh, bring in some gomutra, cow's urine, and sprinkle it in the house everywhere, at least once a day. Just sprinkle some bit of it in the corners and everywhere else where you feel a lot of negativity in the house. Trust me, it does magic. And now, the last practice. Essential oils. Absolutely essential for bringing in positivity. So take some essential oil of a fragrance that works for you, that you like, and put them on the wrist. And you can also do some aura cleansing with it if you know how to do that. And if not, then don't worry. Just put a little bit of it on your wrist every single day and breathe it in and let that aroma fill your breath a few times before you start the day. Do this for 30 days and see the magic. Let me repeat once again, like everything else, if you practice this religiously and consistently for 30 days, I guarantee you that negativity will be past for you. So please share your experience of following these practices and let me know if it was useful for you. If there's anything else that you do that I can learn from, it will be awesome to know. So please put in the comments and let me know how is this for you and what are the other things that you do in your life to keep negativity at bay. I wish you all a very beautiful, happy and peaceful life ahead. Thank you for listening to me. God bless you all.